I wanted to make a quick video to show how you can change some of the settings inside of Hole Manager to limit the amount of holes that you get when you run automatic feature recognition. So I'm going to come up here to Features. I'm going to open up my Hole Manager. I'm going to go ahead and click my Solid and run AFR or Automatic Feature Recognition. Now when I do this, by default, it's going to analyze the whole model and it's going to give me all the holes in all the orientations um, that need to be drilled. Let's say I didn't want that. You know, if this was a more complex part and it had hundreds or thousands of holes, I may not want to run it and get all of the holes. What I want to do is I just want to get the holes, extract the geometry from the holes that are in the active coordinate system. So let's go ahead and delete all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to preferences. And here are the preferences for when you run the AFR in general and some of the other things about tools. I'm going to go over this in a little bit in depth over the next few uh, hole manager videos. But right now I'm, going to, I'm just worried about these two up here, the AFR dialog. So I'm going to say go ahead and use dialog for automatic feature recognition. And I'm also, while I'm here, I'm going to hit use dialog for grouping. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now I'm going to hit run AFR. Oh, got to select my solid first. Okay, so this is that dialog that I opened up. It says, okay, do you want to add new holes? Replace data for existing holes, remove data. So I'm going to say, go ahead, and I'm going to add new holes. But instead of all holes, I'm going to say only holes aligned with current coordinate system. And then click OK. And we can see, let me turn on my coordinate system really quick. So we can see that that's my block and that's my coordinate system. So it only picked out the holes that I can drill in that direction. So this is a really good way to only get those holes. Um, I also pulled up that grouping dialog. Let me show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and say auto group. So here it gives me the options of how do I want to group those holes together. I can go by process parameters. So these are all of these processes here. Um, blind holes by diameter, by depth, same direction, things like that. So I can say any hole in the same direction. I can say, you know, same type. You can see here, you can go through by um, pitch, all that other stuff. So you can go through this angular tolerance, keep existing groups if you have them or overwrite them. So let's say I wanted to just do same direction and click OK. You can see that it, these eight holes here are tapped and then these are flat bottomed holes for pins. You can see that it didn't really make a difference. It just grouped all of those holes together. So I'm going to go ahead and auto group again, but now I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm going to do it by the process parameters. So you can see that I have the original group because I clicked keep group. Here's the original, but then we have each one of these are broken into their own group. Again, if I wanted to get rid of those, I can say get rid of existing, and then I would end up with just those. So this is a really easy way to extract um, hole geometry for drilling, reaming, tapping, whatever you want to do without having to go through extract geometry, all that other stuff. If you have any questions about extracting geometry or creating whole features, please give your local reseller a call or contact Gibbscam Technical Support. Thank you.